Imagine a quiet monastery garden in the mid-19th century where a monk meticulously tends to his colorful array of pea plants. This is not an ordinary garden, nor is the monk an ordinary gardener. This is the stage for a revolution in science, led by none other than Gregor Mendel, an Augustinian monk with an insatiable curiosity for the secrets of nature. Born Johann Mendel on July 20, 1822 in the small Silesian village of Heinzendorf, now Heinzeis in the Czech Republic, Mendel was destined to change the world in ways he could hardly have imagined. Mendel's early life was humble, marked by an avid interest in the natural world and a deep commitment to his faith. Joining the Augustinian St. Thomas's Abbey in Brno, Moravia, he took the monastic name Gregor. Here, Mendel found not only spiritual solace, but also an intellectual community that encouraged his scientific pursuits. The monastery's garden became his laboratory, where he embarked on an experimental journey that would lay the cornerstone of modern genetics. Between 1856 and 1863, Mendel conducted experiments on pea plants that were nothing short of revolutionary. He crossed pea plants with different characteristics, such as color and shape, and meticulously recorded how these traits were passed on to their offspring over several generations. Mendel's observations led him to two fundamental principles that would later be known as Mendel's laws of inheritance, the law of segregation and the law of independent assortment. What made Mendel's work truly groundbreaking was his statistical approach to studying heredity. He realized that traits were not just blended together from one generation to the next, but were inherited as distinct units, what we now know as genes. Mendel's laws explained how these units of inheritance segregate and assort independently in the formation of gametes, laying the foundation for the science of genetics. Despite the brilliance of his work, Mendel's discoveries were met with indifference during his lifetime. It was not until the turn of the 20th century, decades after his death on January 6, 1884, that the scientific community recognized the magnitude of his contributions. His research was rediscovered independently by three scientists, Hugo de Vries, Carl Korins, and Eric Chermak, setting off a genetic revolution that would transform biology, medicine, and our understanding of life itself. Mendel's story is a testament to the power of observation, patience, and persistence. It shows how a quiet monk in a monastery garden could unlock the secrets of heredity and influence the course of science forever. His legacy is a vivid reminder of the harmony between faith and reason and how a deeply religious man could contribute profoundly to our understanding of the natural world. Gregor Mendel, the father of genetics, remains an enduring figure in the annals of science, celebrated for his pioneering work and the curious spirit that propelled him to question the mysteries of life.